Good evening, or morning, or whatever time that it happens to be. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lego Mike Grego, and welcome to the Bumbling Chef. That's right, a show I did years and years ago on a weird random secondary channel is back in better than ever. That's right, we got another season before Firefly. I'm, I win. I win, I am better than Firefly. I blew a fuse. It's the oven. The oven fuse just... That's the second time that's happened. Really? Cannot make a cooking show without an oven. Okay. Nope. Is it this? Is it this light? Is that light drawing too much power? No. I'm just turning off everything now. Oh, behind it next to the stove. That's the one I'm looking for. Damn it! The light switch is what's tripping the breaker. So, I'm gonna cut it. I don't need the light, because the light's stupid. Oh my god, I did it! I freaking did it! I'm so great! Can we pretend that I didn't take an hour and a half to throw a tantrum uh, before coming back to try to fix this? Can we just pretend that and just accept that I'm awesome and just call that what it is? I know that probably seems like that was a bit, but I mean, that was real and it's a sign. So today in The Bumbling Chef, we are gonna make chicken parmesan with fried eggplant on the side, which contrary to popular belief, they're not the same thing. I, I should know, because I did it. I did it for, for Grim when we first got together, and then she told me that this is not eggplant parm. And I, I assumed, because chicken parmesan's a thing, that eggplant parmesan was just chicken parmesan with eggplant. It, it's fine, I'm right. I'm right about everything, and that's just how it goes. Let's do this. So for starters, to start off, we're gonna play with this thing, the hot ball of fiery death. We're gonna have to preheat our oven to 450 degrees. That's really hot. That is a hot, hot temperature. I gotta set my clock. 450 degrees! Unlimited power! More! More! Oh god. Nailed it. Okay, so oven's preheating. Oil is oiling, so it's nice and ready. I'm actually gonna turn the oil off right now. We're gonna stop that. For, we're gonna deal with the oil later. Don't deal with the oil yet. Just, just the oven. Just use the oven. We're gonna need a chicken. We're gonna need our big dick emoji. And we're gonna need our shredded love. So when normally with chicken parm, you're gonna wanna bread it. I don't like breading it because I feel like with chicken parm breaded and the eggplant parm breaded, or the fried eggplant rather, it's just too much breading. And I really like having the eggplant as a side. I think it's a perfect side to this already really fancy dish. So the chicken, we're not gonna bread. We are just gonna season it. We're gonna put it in a, put it in this bad boy, my, my lovely, my cast iron. Oh, my lovely cast iron pan. This is my first cast iron, guys. It's my, my first born, my boy. We've made so much, so much uh, chicken in this and some burgers and there's some hair in this. I'm gonna clean this real quick. So our chicken, come on over here, take a look at the chicken. I'm gonna cook Neil down. That's how dedicated to this I am. I really need to bigger house. So our chicken, our chicken, our delicious uh, chicken breasts. You can do thighs too, if you'd like. I almost did thighs, but I figured for this, if I'm gonna make an idiot of myself, I might as well make an idiot of myself trying my hardest. So chicken. Chicken breast. We're gonna be able to probably fit two in that pan. So we're gonna open these bad boys. Uh, paper towels. Towels! Paper towels. So with chicken, you always wanna dab it a little bit. Um, I'll use the rest of these chicken breasts for something else later, but um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick up my chicken breasts, put it in the, put it in the towel, gonna dip it, dibbity dab it down. Dibbity dab it down, get all that, that delicious salmonella out of there. Um, I think that's what you're, Getting rid of salmonella, right? These are a lot smaller than I remember, so I'm gonna do four. I think I can do four in this pan. So we've got our chicken breasts right here. Um, we're gonna season those bad boys. I like, I like some salt, a little salt. This salt is almost empty, so this is not gonna be as salty as I like. But yeah, give it a, give it a nice healthy dash of salt. Uh, for your pepper option, I like lemon pepper. I think it is the best pepper to use for chicken. For chicken.
for chicken. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at all that seasoning right there. It's nice, a nice, generous little, little dousing of lemon pepper. Because lemon uh, in chicken is delicious. Fun fact. Take that one to the bank for you. Lemon pepper. And then, because it is a my, my play on a spaghetti or a pasta dish, it's got to have some kind of garlic and onion powder to it. I'm probably adding way too much, but I'm Hungarian, so it doesn't matter. You can never have too much garlic or too much paprika um, or too much bad breath. That's another good one. So, yeah. Flip it over. Season the other side. And then we're going to put onto our cast iron. Cast iron is an amazing, amazing, delicious... cast iron. You'll need oil for this. I recommend uh, olive oil. I don't have olive oil. I just got regular vegetable oil because I'm basic. Not pumpkin spice latte basic, but still pretty pretty basic. Just gonna smear that all around there. Get it into, all into the, all the little crevices of your little grill pan. Get it all nice and oily. And we're gonna add our chicken pieces back to the pan. And now we have our chicken in its cast iron. It's lovely. It's delicious. But we need one more touch. My hands are so greasy. So greasy. There we go. Greasy sauce. Or greasy hands. Good sauce, though. Let's get. A, let's try to get the money shot here, Grego, in the future. Here, come on. Let's get the money shot. Money shot. I'm making such a mess, but I'm doing it for art. Make the mess, but do it for art. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is something. That is something special. We're also gonna need our cheese. Our delicious mozzarella cheese. Um, mozzarella, uh, if you don't know, is actually Italian. Um, and it's Italian for good cheese. That's what mozzarella means. Um, little known fact there. I know, I know, it's it's hard to believe. You're learning so much today. It's cheese raining cheese. The breading part is really fun. Um, so you're gonna want a bing for flour or whatever kind of mixture you want to use. I like to put flour and some seasoning in there so it gets good. You want your preheated oven? Oven's preheated. Put it in the oven for 25 minutes at 450. Uh, it might need more time after that, it might need less. Who knows? Uh, I'd say check on it at about 20. Just check on it at 20, something like that. Let's set this thing. You're gonna wanna fill up your pans with water for pasta. Should have said that earlier, but this is how I cook, so it's fine. So once the chicken's in the oven, you got your pans of water. I have two pans because we're doing two different kinds of pasta. Um, because Grim wanted penne, penne, penne. It's penne, it's in the frame. It's in the frame, penne. And I want regular, just old fashioned spaghetti because I'm, again, basic. So we got our two pots of water going. We also have our oil now preheating. Um, and now we can start doing our mix. Now if you're fancy, you probably have something useful, not useful, you probably have something better um, than just regular old Tupperware, like Gladware to use around the house. But I don't, because I have no money. This one's Rubbermaid though. Rubbermaid's a little fancier, right? Huh? Good? Fancy? So, first container, you're gonna have your flour mixture in it. It's sometimes just flour. Other people like me like put garlic in there or something like that. Uh, it, just, it helps a little bit of pizzazz, I think. It just makes me feel better, okay? It makes me feel fancier. All right, there you go, you have it, you got it. Got your container, four, egg. You're gonna put three or four eggs in here to start. Probably gonna have to add more, but the egg goes in there. It's egg wash, kind of. I should put, should I put some milk in that too? I'm gonna put milk in there too, I guess we'll make them make eggs. And this one is for your breadcrumbs. Actually, this is for eggs. This is breadcrumbs. I'm going to switch those because breadcrumbs get really messy. <laughs> so breadcrumbs. Cool. Okay. How do I want to do this in a way that I'm not making a huge mess? Huge mess! How do I do this in a way that I'm not making a huge mess? Huge mess! I'm going to start by cutting. We're going to cut first. We're going to cut first. Eggplant. Check for the sticker first. That's important. You don't want to tear that off. Get rid of it entirely. Come on. Come on. There you go. Knife! Ask your parents' permission before going online, kids. And we're going to get cut. You can make these as thick or as thin as you'd like. Uh, me, personally, I have no consistency. I love them both. Uh, the thin ones are a lot crispier. The you know, bigger ones are just bigger. They're plumper. They're softer, I think, too, just because they're, they're bigger. They didn't... They didn't fry as well. I need a better knife, Jesus Christ. Flour container, egg container, breadcrumb container. Okay, let's add our container mixtures. I am making such a mess, but it's fine. Flour is very important because 
when you have egg on that, it gives something to stick to with a thing. Thing, yeah, let's add some garlic to that. This is garlic, right? That's garlic, cool. Garlic powder. Stir it up, I promise. I washed my hands after the salmonella. I swear to God I did. Starting with four eggs. Four eggs, what's one egg? That's, that's an eggshell. That's not an egg. I once lived off nothing but eggs for three months. True story, I lost 100 pounds. But I also gained a vitamin deficiency, so don't do that. And then last but not least, you have your panko stuff. If you can't open the panko breading or whatever because your hands are slippery, use a knife. Again, kids, ask your parents permission before going online. There you go, just panko right there, right there in the in, in the thing. I like using cornflakes sometimes, um, but I never, I've never tried that with this. I've tried that with chicken but not with this. I'm gonna stir these also. You gotta, you gotta whisk these. You gotta whisk them nicely. Um, I have a whisk. I'm not using it right now um, because I'm not intelligent. Boom, some flour on that, that delicious spicy meatball. Boom, some egg on that delicious spicy meatball. Be careful, okay, the egg. Use, a, use some force. Use some force with the ones in the egg because the egg doesn't always want to stick. Sometimes it creates little bubbles and pockets and you don't necessarily want that. Boom. You, want the, you do want it in the panko breading, though. You want it in the panko. You want to get the breadcrumbs. You want to... If you're not making a mess, by the way, you're not doing it right. Just throwing that out there now. Boiling oil right here. That's really hot, so you don't want to hurt yourself on that. Take your breadcrumb. Take your nice breadcrumb pieces of the plant. Boom, right in there. Boom, right in there. Watch that go. Um, you're going to want to, you know, first of all, you're going to want to make sure these are a little submerged. Get them in there a little bit. Um, about two minutes on each side. So, two minutes on each side until, on, or until they are browned to your ideal preference. That's that's the game there. Okay, let's speed round some of these. Let's get some of these delicious and nutritious eggplants planted with egg. I'm gonna get out a... Just Regular old floppy plate. You didn't see that open. Regular old floppy plate when these are done. Um, you want to line them with paper towels so the grease can drain. If you don't want that to happen, if you want your plate to become a greasy mess, that's fine. That's on you. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. I'm not telling you what to do. Ow! I gotta hit my oil. It's hot. Hot oil. Hot oil is hot. All right. So you see now we've got four of them that are they're they're, they're some they're a nice little brown. Um, these two, there, oh, that's pretty. These are the first two, they should be done done. Din Din is done done. It's not done done yet, obviously, because we still got, we still got, you know, other stuff to do. But, ow, fuck. I never turned this water on. I never turned the second water on because I'm stupid. Those are done to my liking. Because I'm stupid, I didn't turn the water on. That's, that's, that's what we call cause and effect. Cause I'm stupid, I did not turn the water on. Bah! I am a major tool. That's what I am, cause I don't know how to do stuff. But I still try, but I still try. That's all that you can do when you are me. And I'm stupid. More eggs! Good news, I only have three eggs for breakfast. That's gonna be great news. Oh god, I, ah! Oh god, nope. I broke two of them when I put them down. Okay, maybe I only broke one of them. I cracked this one a little bit, it's okay. Let's flip these things, shall we? Come on, come here, ow! Oh my god, it's so hot. It's so hot in this hole, ow! It's a hot oven. Okay, I got it, and it's only burning me a lot. Oh my god, ow! Fuck, that was a joke! Shit! That has to get cleaned. I gotta get a different form now. Berry, 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 berry. Submerge, submerge, submerge. Panko. So I think while these four are in the oil, we're gonna drop our pasta in the water. Um, like I said earlier, we've got penne, because my girlfriend's picky. That's not nice, she's not picky, she's a little picky, she's actually, she doesn't, she, she's picky. It's, it's okay, because penne's good, it's delicious. That's why I get the big pot. That didn't get anywhere near the trash can, oh my god. Then we got my spaghetti, which I should have put in the big pot now that I'm thinking about it, because, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. We got a red hot bird coming out, guys. Red hot bird. Three minutes. Three minutes. Give me a red hot bird. Is that is that restaurant slang for a chicken? What is the restaurant slang for a chicken? Like everyone has like a like a, 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 you go to a burger restaurant. 
and burger restaurants have like the little code words like, oh, I need a, I need a red hot sea salt on, a, on an oak bread bun and you give me, give me two head, two training wheels, two training wheels on that. That's pickles, pickles and training wheels. I'm making all of this up as I go. Did you guys know that? Did you, did you guys guess that I am just making this up as I go and probably talking so fast that anything that I'm saying is just not hearable? Okay. Our chicken is done in the Obeyne. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Look at how pretty that looks. It's starting to burn through the mint, but we're gonna get like four more seconds of this before I put it down because it really looks pretty. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. We're good, put it down. Woo! Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna leave that out. Don't cut into it if you're not checking. Um, just that way the insides continue to cook if it's not fully cooked yet ish it's close just not there yet it should be good it, it should be really good it should be it should be done it should be oh please be done please be delicious and good oh, don't embarrass me 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 okay let's check on that pasta going to fight world war one everybody <laughs> once your pasta trainer is thoroughly wiped off of any and all head gunk pasta check 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 ah! Take this and dump it in the water hole. The strainer is scientifically designed so that you can dump your thing of pasta and water through it, but the pasta stays and the water doesn't. It's the perfect water generator rubber, and uh, I like it. I can't wait till it's time to plate the stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna shoot it yet. I haven't decided. Is that bad that I'm this far into this cooking show thing? I have not figured out how I wanna plate things. But it's important. Presentation is important to cooking. So when it comes to plating food, it's kind of important um, for the Instagram of it all. You gotta get on that gram, you gotta impress uh, strangers and uh, colleagues alike who don't really know you like to cook. Um, but you gotta let make sure that they know you like to cook and also you gotta make sure that they know what you're doing is, is you gotta, they gotta think it's important. They gotta think it's impressive. It can't be like what I'm doing right now where it's like I'm showing you all of my secrets but really I'm just an idiot who understands how to time things. But your friends and family, they have to think that you're you're serious about this. You gotta really take presentations seriously for Instagram, obviously. You gotta pick a good plate. Uh, luckily I have Fiesta Ware, which is the best plate. Ugh. Ah! I like to pick the, the, the blue one and the purple one because Grim likes the purple one and I like the blue one. You're gonna need your pinchers, your lobster pinchers. Okay, gotta plate it. You gotta plate it. You gotta plate it. Do 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 do. You gotta 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 plate it. Gotta plate it. Gotta plate it. Do do do. Okay. So what I like to do is sauce and cheese the pasta before I add the sauce and cheese chicken onto it. Um, I'm gonna put it direct. I'm gonna put the chicken directly on the pasta too. So there's that. Well, that's the was. Just all around sauciness. Got your pinchers, and then you will start adding your chicken to your plate, systematically plating your food. I've added way too much pasta to this now that I'm looking at it proportionately, because where am I gonna put the eggplant? Ugh, oh God, okay, this is my, I was, hope, I was hoping that would stick. This is my broken piece that I cut open. This is my other piece that is not cut open, but is equally delicious. Extra cheese there, because I think I've earned some extra cheese. Use your fingers, it's okay. You don't work for, you're not a culinary genius, you don't work for some kind of restaurant or corporate body. You can touch the food if you want to. Just make sure your hands are clean and that you don't have COVID, because you don't want to give yourself or your loved ones COVID. Unless you do, I mean, hey, I'm not here to judge you, I'm just here to tell you how to make food. And there you have it, folks. We made chicken and eggplant parm. Chicken parm with fried eggplant on the side. I like that first title better. Ah! We did a thing, guys. Look how good that looks. I love the way the cheese looks after it's baked. I feel the same way about pizza, but it always just looks prettier on here. Or it's like it's not burnt, it's just charred a little bit. And you know, it's gonna be crunchy and gooey all at the same time. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited to eat this. And there you have it. That is The Bumbling Chef here on Lego Magrego TV. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up in the button system. Click you, but I should eat food first. Where's my fork? Drop some some sausage. I was in the sauce, but that's fine. Also, any sauce will do. Prego, uh, just not, um, ragu is the bad one. Ragu is terrible, terrible sauce. Unless you want to sponsor me, in which case I love ragu. It's delicious. Here we go.
I love it. So, chicken cooked great. Cheese, always delight. The sauce I use is the sauce that has like little sausage bits in it. It's a little spicier, but not spicy, just a little tang for you. It's so good. I will leave a coherent recipe in the description below, just so you guys can try this out at home. Let me know what you think, what you like about it, if you don't like it, what I should do, not do in the future if I do this again. Did you get food poisoning? If you did, you can't sue me, because I said don't give yourself COVID, so that's pretty much the same thing. And thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Bumbling Chef. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up in the button system clicky bar thing down there below. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe to Like My Gram TV on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook, all that good stuff. I'm also, I Twitter a lot, Instagram a lot, the gram. A lot of stuff like this. Just better looking because uh, I framed it. framed it. And as always, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, ladies, gents, and everything in between, I've been Lego My Grego. You have been awesome. And I will see you later. Bye! Okay.